Let's talk about the biggest mistake that law enforcement officers or special category employees can make when retiring. The worst mistake a law enforcement officer can make when they retire is to take your TSP and move it all to an IRA right away. Why do I say that? Well, it's really easy. If your money is in TSP when you retire as a law enforcement officer or special category employee, you can, you know, you can retire at 45 now with 25 years in. And if that happens, you have immediate access to your TSP without penalty, okay? That is a big deal. But if you move all of that money to an IRA, an IRA is not near as flexible as TSP prior to age 59 and a half, okay? If you have money in TSP, then you still have access to that money penalty free. Now, you may have funds outside of TSP. Uh, you may have funds in a taxable account. You may have funds in a Roth IRA where you can access the principal. Um, but the bottom line is you want to make sure that you have access to funds. Uh, you always want to have access to, access to money, right? Um, it gives you flexibility. Now, what about moving money to an IRA? Should you do that if you retire at the age of 45 or at the age of 50 as a law enforcement officer? Um, sure, it, it may be a good fit for you, but you just want to be careful not to move everything out of TSP, all right? As long as you leave it open, and a minimum, minimum amount I think is under $1,000, but you know you can leave $5,000 there or $10,000 there. And as long as you have it open, should an emergency ever occur, you can move money from your IRA back into TSP and then have access to those funds penalty free prior to 59 and a half. Now, after 59 and a half, sure, TSP is a lot more flexible. But again, you retire prior to 59 and a half, you retire very early as a law enforcement officer, say age 50, you wanna leave some money in TSP, okay? Even if you don't think you're gonna need access to the funds prior to 59 and a half, maybe leave 50,000 there, just so that you know that you have access to that money and then if you want to move the rest to an IRA, go ahead and do it. Because um, again, an IRA prior to 59 and a half, not near as flexible as TSP. It has to be very structured payments. If you can avoid that, you want to avoid it, all right? So if you're a special category employee retiring prior to 59 and a half, which pretty much everybody has to because of mandatory retirement age, be careful doing that. Leave some money in your TSP.